You want me to start? Okay. Uh, in the middle? Okay. Okay, my name is Mike Jorman. For those of y'all that don't know me, I'm in Dr. Orth's Tuesday morning lab. And I did my briefing on the invasion of the northern snakehead in the Potomac River. And for those of you that don't know what, the Potomac, or what a northern snakehead is, it's an invasive species of fish originally from Asia, parts of Asia, that uh, was introduced by man about 10 years ago into the Potomac River in the DC metro area. And uh, since in the last decade or so, cause a bunch of different problems, both ecological and environmental, and that's what I'm going to talk about. This is my conceptual model. Uh, I'm not going to go into specifics on it. It's kind of hard to see, especially if you're in the back, but I kind of broke it up into different sections. Off to the right where it says invasive subspecies, that's where I talked about, kind of gave a background of what the northern snakehead is, and then up top the concerns that it raises. Then down below I broke up the effects into both environmental and ecological and then, uh, or economic, my bad, and then different methods of control. So right now, currently, the government has already put into place a couple of measures to deal with the northern snakehead invasive species issue. Um, right now in Maryland, anyone that catches a northern snakehead is given a cash reward. Um, they're required to catch the fish, kill it, and then send it to the Department of Game and Fish. And if they do so, they will get a cash reward. Also. There's been uh, talk of implementing a native predator into uh, the Potomac River to kind of limit the population of the northern snakehead. Um, however, that could raise even more problems because then you'd be introducing another invasive species. And then thirdly, there's uh, the last one of the other issues that, uh, or one of the other methods of control. Um, this kind of goes off of population control also. Um, you can kill the snakeheads by using a pesticide called retenin, um, but this is a really dangerous chemical. It kills all the other fish, so you kind of want to stay away from that. Um, the evidence, they're already established in the Potomac River. They've been here for 10 years, so they're not really going to go away. They've kind of become a part of the ecosystem, and uh, they're probably most known for their ability to survive out of water. Um, if you go onto YouTube, you can actually see videos of the fish walking on land. Can survive out of water for up to four days without food. Um, they have very high growth and reproductive rates. They have large appetites. They're aggressive with other fish. Um, they don't really attack humans at all, but they will go after small pets and other types of fish. And uh, they're highly adaptive. Um, because of this, because they're already here and they're established in the Potomac River, in the ecosystem up north. Um, I think we need to change how we act, not how they act. Um, snakeheads, by, by the food that they consume is also consumed by many other popular fish that are native, such as the largemouth bass. And as you know, the largemouth bass is a fish that's frequently caught for sport and food. And uh, I think measures need to be taken to kind of limit how we, the native species Already, they already, um, snakeheads already target them enough, so us as humans need to limit how much we target them as well. Um, so in my conclusion, we need to not fight fire with fire. What I mean by that is how we deal with these snakeheads needs to not affect the other types of fish that are native. Um, with that said, that can completely limits the use of pesticides. I wouldn't recommend using that because then it kills everything. Um, in general, Population control isn't going to be the best method to deal with the northern snakeheads. Uh, we, as I said, we need to change how we live and limit the amount of competition we place on other types of fish that the northern snakeheads directly affect. Um, by doing so, I'd say limiting the amount of uh, the amount of fish. I, I guess kind of like deer hunting season, placing a cap or a quota on the amount of largemouth bass that we're allowed to catch and kill. Um, because if we catch more and more, then you're going to deplete the northern or the largemouth bass, which is already under attack from the.